Hi, Michelle. It's Colin Hayward from Madison and Shepherd. Very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, going very well, thanks. And just wanted to say, uh, you know, honoured we are to be involved, and thank you for uh, selecting us to showcase our suit. Um, can I just run through the, the details with you? So it's going to be a three-piece single-breasted suit, isn't it? Um, in a plain navy blue hop sack material. And I've got the fabric here in front of me. So it's a, it's a Smith uh, fabric, which is one of the companies we use a lot. Yeah, and then, you know, it's a, it's a nice classic blue, so it's going to you know really sort of showcase um, our sort of cut. Four? Four. Eighteen and a half. Eighteen and a half. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Forty-three. Forty-three. I'm looking from the, the length the coat but what we're also doing we're going to find out the natural waist okay. relax please sir you just have to press and if someone's standing right what will happen is their center of gravity it's like a seesaw you can just press it and they start to topple forward naturally so on Matthew we'd probably go around 18 and a half then down to the length of the coat 42 we go to the back of the knee which on the measurements is 43 for me, I'd probably just come a fraction longer, sir. Okay. The uh, cuff the on the shirt looks a little short. If the shirt was a little longer, I'd bring the uh, cuff down just okay. a fraction. Once again, we can have a look at the fitting stage and determine if we need to make any adjustments. 25. 25. Right. Right. At the end of the day, our customers could be wearing a suit all day long. It needs to obviously look and fit beautifully, but at the same time, we want it to be practical. We want that practical elegance. So throughout the day of wearing a suit for 12 hours, you feel like it's a second skin. You can move about in it. You can function in it. It is comfortable to wear for 12 hours of a business day. We're probably looking Thank at you. about four weeks for a fitting, and then, uh, I'll see you and we'll I'll slip the jacket on time. and we'll see you in four weeks. Uh, my colleague, Mr Malone, will come in and take some trousers now. Thank you very Thank much, you. sir. John Malone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pleasure to meet you, Matthew. Yeah, yeah. Right. How, how are you going to support them? Um, Side strap? I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, I, I do cut, like that. Cut high in the waist? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a waist. You're yeah, having a waist, OK. okay. So a couple of things we'd always do. Make sure the cloth is flat. Make sure the edges are together. OK. 
Okay. All the cutters and all the tailors have their own shears. Obviously our cutting shears are quite large, quite weighty. We know our own shears. If I was to line up all the shears in the cutting room, I'd be able to pick out my shears blindfolded. Obviously tape measure, which I think we always have. String is not. And then the other main very simple really. We haven't we're not over reliant on technology. This little symbol here just means it's also a jetted pocket. You'll find all sorts a customer requests. One customer used to have a pocket in the back of his jacket and the reason for it was when he was on a plane he could put his passport in it so, and his tickets so it was always easy to get his tickets and he didn't have to go fumbling. That's the beauty of what we're doing. With it being bespoke the customer can ask for these requests and we will try and sort them out, these little details and these quirks and that's the beauty of it, that's why it's bespoke. This is what the cutters do at this stage. This is where the cutter is deciding where to take shape and stuff. At the next level is where the tailor will also then do what he does and he'll start to shape it by manipulating the cloth. Because what it's all about with the cutters and the tailors is putting the necessary marks to shape the suppression and manipulating the cloth. To take something that's two dimensional and flat into a three-dimensional object to place over the individual. All right, what we do, just check the balance. Armhole pitch, waist, suppression, waistline, throughout. We see the bottom of the coat, and this is our little marking and signal for slits at side. At this end here are the sleeves. So we start to pass it all up. What will happen is once I've put these together, so you've got the fundamental building blocks of the garment. This is where nothing goes to waste. So we've got the top collar, what we call the top collar. I'm obviously marking directions of the grain of the cloth. So the just to help and aid the tailor again, you've got to think there's going to be the flaps. There's going to be jettings. Jump ticket. 